Thanks. I hate it. Taylor Swift for real said, I was raised on a farm, no it wasn't a mansion, just living room dancing and kitchen table bills. And this was her house. No, I was not going to sing that, simply because I don't know the song. As this post clearly shows us, Taylor Swift is the voice of the generation and very relatable for everyone that listens to her. <laughs> Wow. Hello and welcome to Calbus. My name is Zen and today we're taking a delve into r slash tee <laughs> Every time I read it, I have to do it that way. Thanks, I hate it. It's just, it's a subreddit of things that just make you go, oh, wow, okay, sure, that's a thing. Let's just jump in, shall we? Thanks, I hate the biblically accurate angel on the tree. <laughs> hey babe, don't forget to put the biblically accurate angel on the top of the tree. Why would you hate this? This is just being true and accurate to what it's meant to be. This is just how it's meant to be. This is Christmas incarnate. Why would you hate this? Thanks, I hate Peter. And some folks still think Tofurky is weird. I can't wait to slurp up these juices. Mmm, <laughs> she's so juicy. Now, Peter, the message behind your organization of stop animal abuse is the only thing that is good about your organization. That is literally it. You make things like this and it just makes people laugh at you more. You think you're trying to make a point, but you're just hurting your own cause. Thanks, I hate Garfield. Garfield comics can be substantially improved by cropping off the third panel. Here's a carrot for your diet, Garfield. You know what to do with it. I certainly do. Now, I know this is meant to insinuate something dirty or something just abstract or whatever. However your mind wants to take it, but I feel like just cutting off the third panel. <laughs> just... <laughs> it's, it's just brilliant. It's just brilliant. It, I, I don't know, it's just great. <laughs> just about as great as it is when you hit that subscribe button down below with the notification bell and the five extra seconds it takes to hit the like, leave a comment and just share with a friend. It's absolutely free for you and it helps us infinitely keeping making more videos for you to enjoy. Anyway, let's continue going. Thanks, I hate most of these experts. Bill Margold. Spicy content historian Richard Schuerman Shredded Cheese Authority Jackson Galaxy Cat Behavior Consultant <laughs> I just love his name, that looks great Eric Ostrow, Smarties Expert I like that one Alan Moore, Writer, Wizard, Mall Santa, Rasputin Impersonator Isn't that the guy that wears a welly on his head and runs for government? Or is that someone else? Dr. Bernie Payton, bear biologist and paper folder. <laughs> Russell Clydeback, bride kidnapping expert. Don't want to delve into that one. Deb Ashman, six layer dip maker. No, that's fair. Stan Corvain, bread scientist. He makes the good dough. Jim Kosh, chocolate beer specialist. Stop. Ghazali Jafar, milf command. <laughs> Living best life. And Vance Zawadaski. <laughs> you invented that, did you, sir? That is a bold claim. I mean, everyone's got to have a profession. Everyone's got a calling in life. I really like Dr. Bernie Payton, simply because he's like, yes, I'm a leading expert in the field of bear biology. Also, I can fold a mean crane. <laughs> Thanks. I hate it. I can't identify a single thing in this picture. Am I having a stroke? No, it's one of those images where it's just everything blurs together. It's 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 a mind mess. It, it messes with your mind a lot. I just try not to look at them because I can just stare at them for ages. Thanks, I hate the Egyptian snake god. Why? He's just going for a little walk. What's wrong with that? Didn't Alan Pan do a video about how snakes used to have arms and legs or something? No, give the snakes their legs back. It's only fair. Thanks. I hate full moons. <laughs> As you can see today, Calbus is catering towards a very particular uh, demographic. And hey, if this has just awoken something in you like the full moon has for her, then let me tell you, you're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, I hate the family sick bowl. My kids have just discovered that the family sick bowl and the cake mix bowl are the one and the same. In my defense, this was also the case when I was growing up. But now I've said it out loud, I realize I need to break the cycle. 
I won't be taking any further questions. Good. Good. That is where that extra special and homey taste for all your cakes is coming from. It's not a good one, but it's there and it is unique. Thanks, I hate peanut butter salad. My father has to have peanut butter salad every Thanksgiving. Here's the recipe. I swear, it's awful. Has anyone ever told your father no? Because you should start. Thanks, I hate the way my grandma sleeps. She's just preparing. It's just a practice run, you know? Also, it is extremely comfortable just to entomb yourself in a black- Sorry, wrong choice of words. To encase- No, hold on. It's comfortable, okay? Thanks, I hate the Oxford word of the year. I was in the car. I was driving and I heard this on the radio and I literally screamed about this. Goblin mode became Oxford word of the year 2022. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Thanks, I hate pasta. The scene in Lady and the Tramp, but as our lips meet, I carry on sucking. You feel the pasta travel back up your throat. My pasta. My pasta. Dude knows what he likes. It's that pasta. If you're not having it, he'll have it. Thanks, I hate this little boy shedding his skin. How can you hate it? How can you hate- Look, okay. It's a natural thing. He's just shedding his skin so he can become his new, better self. But at the same time, he made a little hoodie out of it. That's recycling and very stylish. Thanks, I hate this map at a coffee shop where it is absolutely completely wrong in every facet. <laughs> uh, I think the only thing on there that is correct... Well, actually, there's multiple. There's Africa, there's South America. Texas is in... that. Uh, no, no, Texas isn't in Canada. Canada's not Greenland. Uh, Korea's <laughs> not even near. Wow, there's like two things right with that. Thanks, I hate my daughter's aggressive book. Touch the cow. Do it now. I feel threatened, and I don't know why. It is just a book. <laughs> Thanks, I hate leaf blower dog. Why? It's just, uh... <laughs> if the dog falls off of, out of an airplane, then we know that <laughs> it's, she has a parachute. Nature's parachute. Just open wide. Thanks, I hate pizza cut into cubes. But why? It means now it is in a good form factor for just snacking on. You just have a couple of cubes here and there. You can sneak that into class or, or work or wherever you are. Just keep popping them away. I, I'm, I'm here for this. <laughs> what if we kissed under the mistletoe? <laughs> I must replicate this and it will become one of the Christmas decorations that gets passed down through the generations. Thanks, I hate this tomato. S same here, bud. Same here. Why does this look like something from Undertale? <laughs> Straight up from the secret labs, one of the amalgamations. It just gives me that vibe. Thanks, I hate the Inflation Reduction Act. Just like how they did Mario Dirty. Why? Why did they do... We all know, Nintendo, we all know that you have been watching and going over this film with a fine tooth comb to make sure everything is on point with your company brand and the Mario universe that you have set up for it. Why did you remove the dumpy? Why is this the one thing you've gone off book with? Stop. Give us back Mario's dumpy. Make your audience go wahoo! Thanks, I hate mint PB and J. Oh uh, no, actually, if you if you didn't drink the milk alongside of it, I think this actually might not be that bad. I actually might need to go and try this. Uh-oh. <laughs> I may not give an update on this. Do not hold me to that. Thanks, I hate the pipe maze. Oh, this is just like Windows 98 screensaver. It's great, I like this. <laughs> Thanks, I hate this wedding photo. <laughs> Ooh, what, what were they trying to do? Like, what what were they trying to do with this? Like, <laughs> oh, this is so bad. It reminds me of like what one of the people on my college course did for one of the assignments. And it was just <laughs> oh, I don't know what was going through their mind. I do not know. 
And that's all the time we have for today on Calbus. If you liked the video, consider dropping a like or maybe even subscribing. Or hey, maybe even sharing with a friend. Just do it. If you want to see some more r slash thanks I hate it, then stick around a couple more seconds because another one will be popping up on your screen. But on that note, I have been your host Zen, and I hope to see you in the very next Calbus video. Have a great rest of your day.